Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Kingsis. Gonna be showing you how to play some Olaf jungle. So when I play Olaf, I like to be aggressive, get a ward down, go back, get your Oracle lands. Don't recall any later than the 55 second mark. Otherwise, it'll be late to your first buff and you're gonna wanna get a leash. You don't need a leash, but it helps. And on Olaf, you have the option of going Hunter Talisman or you can go for the, what's it called? Hunter's Machete. Both are good. Hunter Talisman will make you not run out of mana and you don't have to get blue buff if you have Hunter Talisman because you'll have enough mana. You're normally gonna start Q, get W and then E. The reason why I recommend Q start, even though W start can be better in some ways, is Q start is better if the enemies invade you. It's also better if you invade them. So in general, just going for the Q start is a lot safer. It does it looks like Graves is starting on? Uh, oh, it's Malzahar. I'm definitely gonna invade him. Malzahar jungle is actually not that bad. The clear is just really slow to start out with, but it scales really, really, really hard. So he's still going to be farming that out. He's going to get really low on health. That's the biggest issue with it. I'm going to save our W here. And your W gives you an insane amount of attack speed and uh, life still, guys. You're just going to keep wanting to walk into your axes. And uh, like you see, you still will run out of mana even if you start Hunter's Machete. I mean, even if you start Talisman. But the thing, nice thing about Talisman is it lets you go for raptors which we are going to be going for we're just going to go into his jungle to take it if you can't solo the enemy jungler or if you don't feel comfortable then uh, you need to get comfortable because that's what Olaf does all right we're back up to full HP full HP level 3 double buff looking to gank he's gonna be in trouble here he is gonna be in trouble he's probably on his red buff right now or he's on his way Hit him with an axe. I'm not. I don't. Even, I don't think I even have to flash here. So strong Olaf. Like I know it's a Malzahar jungle. I get it, but still, like trying to get away from Olaf is pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. And even if that was like a Warwick or a Graves, Olaf can take him at level three. But that just was really easy because. Wow, that hit me. I'm gonna go get him on his up. Uh... I'm gonna go get him on his red again. He's gonna run straight back to it. Should be a free kill. He has no flash. And you guys need to check the runes at the start of the video. The runes are really important on Anola. This setup is really good for bowling people. Because we have. We have what's it called? Approach velocity is insane on Olaf early. Who's gonna come fight me? <laughs> this guy? I guess he is. He's actually gonna kill me. Dude, Set is low key strong, bro. I'm not gonna say he's OP, but damn. So, yeah, your runes, you basically just need the Conquer, Last Stand, and Approach Velocity. Approach Velocity is insane. Every time you slow the enemy's movement speed, which is your axe, every time your axe hits them, it slows them and does damage. You get really fast towards them. So, particularly if you're going to be doing lots of invades, approach velocity is insane. Also, getting the free boots as well lets you rush straight into your jungle item, which is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and just go for double scuttle. I'm going to throw my axe through mid. I don't want Ari Roman on me. So, we're just going to shove that and uh, let Zerath do his thing. You can use your E early. It makes you lose health and your W heals you back. And your passive gives you attack speed the lower on health you are. So... It all kind of works out in the end. And your E does... You do get refreshed whenever you do kill the target with it. Which is nice. Pretty sure it gives you back all the HP when you kill it. You go 3% damage dealt. Okay, yeah, the cost is refunded if you kill the target. Alright, we got a kill. And that's Olaf Jungle, guys. His early game is really strong. He's got solid ganks. He has insane 1v1s. His scaling isn't that great, but he, he's really good at taking objectives. So that's what we're going to be looking to do here. There's actually other champions I wanted to put up on the channel first, but I was getting a lot of, uh, a lot of requests for Olaf Jungles on stream. I got at least 15 or 20. So that's what the people want to see a little bit of. Now, something I will say is, if you don't have mid-prior, which we haven't necessarily had, invading can be hard. 
just because you invading a strong on Olaf, don't do it if you feel like you're going to die. It's not worth it if you're going to die. Because Olaf's early game is so strong, you don't want to be spending your time in base respawning. That we do not want to do. He's also a good auto attack resetter. You can auto attack E. And you normally have to hit him with the Q to get up to them. Just make sure you land it. It's really not that hard to land if you're close, unless they have a dash in their kit. But whenever you pick up your undertow, your axe throw, it comes off a of cooldown really, really fast. So our red buff's actually coming up here. It's yellow. His thing is still blue, so that's in 50 seconds or less. My, my red's going to come up way before him. He took forever to take his blue buff, so I think I can even go kill him on his blue here after red if I hurry. I'm going to not use my Q here. I don't want to drain all my mana. Just going to kill it. W is one of your best tools for clearing solo camps like Red or Gromp. We're going to go get this guy. We're going to try to hug the wall so he doesn't see us. Hopefully. There we go. We're in. Alright, and he is missing. If he shows up, he's dead. can throw your axe into the your axe does go over walls but if it can't quite go over it'll just stick into it like this watch this and then you can just perma pick it up just pick it up every time you pick it up it nearly refreshes the full cooldown lets you clear really fast enemy bot lane's pushing up they have a massive wave my bot lane's not there yet so i'm not going to go quite yet i'm just going to go ahead and clear this out malzar shows up we'll kill him uh, he doesn't look like he's here. He could be in my jungle or in my AFK. We killed him twice early. And on Malzahar jungle, if you fall behind, you just lose. The worst thing about Mal's jungle is he needs a big leash to start with. If you don't get a big leash to start, you lose. But other than that, it actually scales really well. I'm going to go solo the dragon and look to get the herald. Looks like our Lux uh, just... Oh, she's back. Keep an eye on the Ari. Moving between your autos to pick up your axes on the dragon pit. Alright. And now let's move back out. His red's up in 20. We'll go through mid real quick. Wipe out his red side jungle if he hasn't taken it. She ulted. So I can't really get to her. Olaf's ult does give him a little burst of movement speed. But... You, you lose your... So passively, it gives you armor magic resist, but whenever you activate it, it basically makes you squishier because you lose that armor magic resist that it gives. But it gives you more damage. You gain a bunch of AD, and it gives you a slight burst of movement speed for a second, and it makes you immune to all CC. So sometimes when you're getting away, if they're not hitting you with CC, it can actually be better sometimes... It can be better sometimes not to use your ulties when I'm trying to stay on Olaf. Because it can make you die faster. It just depends. It's situational, but every now and then, not using your ult is actually the right move if you're trying to stay alive. Like, let's say you're low on health and Ezreal shoots his ult at you and it's going to land. Then it, you may not want to use your ult because you'll take more damage. Because you'll lose that bonus armor magic resist. He's going to run up behind him. Blue smite him. We're going to ult so he can't CC us. And he's dead. I'm just gonna. Ooh. I guess we'll shove this wave. They're dead anyways. Might as well. Only because I can do it so fast. Because Olaf is a wave clearing machine. All right, shove. Let's get some turret plates. A lot of golden experience for us. Set's still dead, so he's gonna miss all of his minions. He doesn't have teleport. I'm gonna get a few plates. Gonna get hella big. Olaf's all about soaking as many resources as possible early. He's not a support jungler like Ivern or Zac. He's just a straight up, gets the gold, stays in the enemy's jungle, kills them, and makes them rage quit. That's what Olaf does. Pretty sure you're supposed to max W second. There's really... Yeah, we'll go ahead and max W second here. I don't want to die. My Your W gives you back a lot of life still. 
and uh, they don't really have anyone that tanky so the bonus true damage on my E won't really do much but you're always supposed to max Q first and then normally max W second Alright, let's go, go, go. He doesn't have flash, he used it earlier. Got my red buff on him. Hit him with my axe, step out. Not bad. Staying on top of him, guys. Lucian's gonna miss this whole wave because he's over there. I don't mind, though. Alright, got that. Let's go ahead and back. Let's get our item. I think our best play is to just come back and kill set. His flash is still down for a while. I didn't time stamp it, but it's still going to be down for like three minutes. We'll get ninja tabbies. And we'll go ahead and go for a black cleaver as well. Black cleaver is really nice. Especially when you're ahead on Olaf. Because the autos from phage speed you up quite a bit. 20 movement speed for two seconds is a lot. And if you get kills at 60 movement speed. So once you're on somebody, they're basically not going to get away. So it's really, really good in these kinds of situations. Now, if you were behind and the enemy team was like full AD, you could rush into like a dead man's plate or something. But normally, Black Cleaver or an early Maw is the way to go. So if they were full AP, I might get an early, like an early Hex Drinker or something. Olaf has a lot of item options, but in general, Black Cleaver is just the way to go. I don't know why he pinged me. Lucian pinged me after he died. Alright. That was weird. Oh, I guess he's sad that he got killed. Yes, that's pretty strong. You can solo a lot of people. Even though Lucian has Blade of the Rune King, that has Ninja Tabbies. And in 1v1s against Lucian, the Ninja Tabbies give so much value. Because Lucian has those double auto attacks. On his passive, so... Really smart item buy by the set there. Going for the early tabs. I'm gonna shove this out. Enemies are shoving in the bot. Set just respawn. I'm gonna clear this jungle. Mm, his red buff's up in 40. Looks like set's still playing. We'll go ahead and snipe him here. Run him down, blue smite him, get an ult for the extra damage. He's really fast though. He ignited me. <laughs> he actually ignited me. I'm gonna get the red buff. We're good to go. Yeah, he's running away. I'll get his turret. Hit him with an axe. I don't know what he's doing. He should have just backed. I think he thinks I'm going to dive him or something. <laughs> oh, no! What am I doing? I thought I had minions. Understandably, due to their jungler rage quitting, they did surrender at the 15 minute mark. Of course, after I accidentally killed myself. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Let's